Welcome again to Glorious Morning Shower on Histometry Broadcasting Network. I want to thank all our viewers. Please keep sharing this platform with people. As it's blessing, you keep sharing with other people. Gradually, people are getting to know that the Word of God is the most important in the life of a Christian. So every other thing shall pass away, but this Word shall remain. Knowing that, we have come to embrace. We are not neglecting others, the prophetic, the miraculous, the faith realm, or whatever, but every of these essentially are connected to the Word. And that is why we are doing word shower. The word is the soap we use to shower. So those scriptures we're giving you every day and those topics are truly the soap. It does what soap does to you when you bath in the bedroom. That's why we call it a shower. You can't shower with empty hands. You must shower with the word. You must use the soap. So the word is the soap. Combination of the word, prayer, worship, give you a glorious entrance into your day. Gradually, we'll bring order to the platform. So let me use the word, the soap today for your shower is fellowship with the spirit fellowship with the spirit fellowshipping with the spirit means communion with the spirit only those that fellowship are truly united why you are not seeing the finger of the spirit of god at work in some of your issues is because many of us are hit and wrong only when we are in church and they say let's speak in tongue so why have we reduced the holy spirit to a mere speaking in tongue just the activity that happened in the book of acts chapter 2 did the holy spirit stop there the Holy Spirit was there before them. Fellowship with the spirits. And we say it every day at the end of all our services. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit, abide with us now forevermore. That's the book of 2 Corinthians chapter 13, verse 14. It said, The grace of, the, of our Lord Jesus Christ the Lord of our God and the communion or the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And the fellowship of the Holy Spirit. That's the word for today. When last did you have fellowship with the Holy Spirit? When last did you engage in communion with the Holy Spirit? not just what we are doing now it is it, it's, it's not just this 10 minutes and go no dwelling just kneel down there and the communion with the holy spirit or take a part of the scripture and be grinding it with the help of the holy spirit having a fellowship and fellowship bring about intimacy so many of you are not intimate with the holy spirit and until you are intimate with the Holy Spirit, the person of the Holy Spirit, the power of the Holy Spirit, every grace that the Holy Spirit carries may not be visible in your life. What we mean by fellowship is like a man sitting close to where they use local wood or firewood to cook or where there is smoke. When he leaves there to another place, the smell of the smoke will be on his body. So when you truly have a condensation with the Holy Spirit, 
If you come out, you don't need to tell anybody where you are coming from. There will have a smell of him on you. So I pray in the name of Jesus that the union between you and the Holy Spirit become more intimate from today. Because when you have that intimacy, you are not moved by anything. What moves other doesn't move you. Now, hear me. When people say, or oh, the Bible says, there are some people that while they yet speak, God answers. And as they are still speaking, He performs. These are those that are friends of the Holy Spirit. Others are on their knee there. One hour, two hours, three hours. Oh God, oh God, oh God. Do it, oh God, oh God. But their friend on the Holy Ghost just tune in the spirits and in a few seconds answers. I give them. Who just as they speak, he answers. As they are still talking, before they speak, he answers. As they are still talking, he perfects. I want us to belong to that realm this year. If you don't know a man too much, it will be difficult for you to convince the man to intervene in your matter or to do something in your favor. We don't need to beg. A man of God said, we are not born of beggars. We are sons. Sons don't beg. Sons claim. Only stranger beg. So anyone begging the Holy Spirit, pleading with the Holy Spirit, is a sign that he or she is a stranger in the realm of the Spirit. If you are not a stranger, what you do is what? You claim his promises. You claim his defense and his protection. And that's what God is going to do for many today in the name of Jesus. Fellowship with the Holy Spirit. You can as well add another scripture of Philippians chapter 2, verse 1 to 2. You see, if this be there for any consideration in Christ, if any comfort of love, if any fellowship of the Spirit, if any boils or messes. Now, if you take that scripture to verse 6, you will see how God emphasized that until you engage in the fellowship with the Holy Spirit, that is when you will see everything listed above to be yours. If only, then you cannot enjoy mercy, you cannot enjoy love, you cannot enjoy comfort, by what? By true fellowship with the Spirit of God. I charge you today that you come up on board in fellowship with the Holy Spirit. Once again, 1 John 1 3, he said, What we have seen and heard, we proclaim to you also, so that you too may have fellowship with us. And indeed, our fellowship is with the Father and with his son Jesus Christ. So we are telling you everything that we have seen so that it will be easy for you to have fellowship with us like we also have fellowship with him. And what is fellowship? Communion. So I decree today that the communion of the Holy Spirit be your portion as you go out for your day today in Jesus' mighty name.